Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as I told you in the previous video, to today we are starting on the HTML tutorial for beginners. So today I'm gonna explain something about HTML, what it stands for, the use, the best time to learn, and the editors you need, the maybe the one I will use. So there are many much more editors. So what HTML stands for? So the H stands for hyper, T stands for text, hypertext, and M stands for markup, and L language, which is hypertext markup language. And the use of HTML is like a structure of a web. There's, it's like the bedrocks of a web. There's no any web without HTML. So like any web has to use HTML, like the common language of webs. So the best time to learn, it's not for only HTML, for everything to revise, is in the morning at 4, 5, 6 a.m. That's the best time to learn. And maybe in the evening when like free time, you're not busy. So the editor you need, there are many editors such as Sublime, uh, Tom, Notepad++, but for the HTML series, I'm, I'm gonna use Notepad because I want I want you guys to learn better because uh, the editors sometimes help you. So you have to first learn on your own, then you can use the editors. Yeah, so stay tuned for the HTML tutorial beginner one. So there we should start coding and whatever. Okay, thank you. So what does HTML stand for? The H stands for hyper. The T stands for text. So the M stands for markup. The L stands for language. So hypertext markup language is a programming language used in websites like the bedrock of websites. So there is no website which you can't find HTML, uh, whereas for application it's Java, and for uh, App Store it's uh, Object C. Yeah, so thank you.